Hey there, I'm Richard Brandt, Monos Historian, and you're watching Stream It Now. Tubi TV has more free movies today for your viewing pleasure with. Holy crap, 66 more titles. And they're not just any old movies either. No, 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 no. You get the life story of a dollar dollar bill, y'all, in one buck. The film buff documentary, the 50 best horror movies you've never seen. Speak for yourself, Patrick Bergen in the thriller Absolute Fear. Patrick Fugit in the romance Alex and the List. The Australian science fiction drama Alpha Gateway. The tattoo-driven horror flick Anarchy Parlor, a horror thriller about a woman and her dolls. Anne. Larry Drake and Sarah Douglas in Attack of the Griffin, filling a much-needed void of Griffin movies. Jay-Z and other hip-hop luminaries in the documentary Backstage. Walter Salas' drama, Behind the Sun. A triple feature of movies from self-made Canadian auteur and star Frank D'Angelo and his stock company of familiar faces, including Margot Kidder, Robert Loggia, Eric Roberts, and Doris Roberts. You get The Big Fat Stone, No Deposit, and Real Gangsters. The apocalyptic thriller Bled White. The Gangsters vs. Vampires thriller Blood Ransom. Proof that once upon a time, Uli Lommel knew how to direct a movie. His fairly highly regarded 1979 horror film, The Boogeyman. Dolph Lundgren in the action thriller Bridge of Dragons. The cage match thriller, Grutal. Herschel Gordon Lewis's gory masterpiece, Color Me Blood Red. I'm not saying it's a great masterpiece. John Schneider in the paranormal thriller Conjurer. Tobe Hooper's big lizard movie Crocodile. The thriller Days of Power featuring Eric Roberts and Mrs. Eric Roberts. Lance Henriksen in the thriller Devil on the Mountain. The Canines Behind Bars documentary Dogs on the Inside. The Gruesome 1980s slasher, Don't Go in the House. The Chinese time travel fantasy, Duckweed. Stand up with Eddie Griffin in Dysfunctional Family. Jennifer Jason Lee and Jude Law and David Cronenberg's virtual reality thriller, Existence. The true story of America's biggest movie star, Finding Rin Tin Tin. The comedy of vasectomy, Fixed. Lorraine Bracco and Anthony John Dennison in the true-life mob drama Getting Gaudy. The indie crime drama Gone Tomorrow. The Australian drama Gossip Nation. Gabrielle Anwar and Craig Sheffer in the offbeat crime drama The Grave. The British historical drama Gunpowder, Treason, and Plot. The Korean thriller Hide and Seek. A drama from Singapore about a boy and his Filipino nanny, Ilo Ilo. Jude Law in the offbeat horror thriller, Immortality, or The Wisdom of the Crocodile. Tiger Chen in the martial arts sequel, Kung Fu Traveler 2. Straight out of Newark, the urban drama, Living with No Regrets. Just in time for Halloween, the thriller, Lost Creek. Karen Viard in the French drama Lulu, the indie romance No Postage Necessary, one of the finest films from the Pittsburgh cinema renaissance, Not Cool. Operation Delta Force 3, Clear Target, one of a series of Operation Delta Force movies, each with progressively less star power than the film that preceded it. The indie sci-fi thriller Paradox Alice. Vivica A. Fox in Power of Love. A woman searches Central America for her kidnapped daughter in the thriller Relentless. The story of an accidental proposal, The Ring Thing. Don't get into that car, it's Ride with a Y. James Spader in the crime drama Shadow of Fear. The fan fiction comedy Slash. A double feature of Bud Spencer. First, 
he's a medieval mercenary and soldier of fortune. Then he's a small town sheriff having to contend with a pint-sized extraterrestrial played by Cary Guffey, recently of Close Encounters of the Third Kind fame, in Why Did You Pick on Me? The creepy crawly thriller Spiders. The 1983 slasher Sweet 16 with a pretty strong cast, including Bo Hopkins, Susan Strasberg, and Patrick McNee. Robert Hossein directs, stars in, writes, and produces the early spaghetti western from 1961, The Taste of Violence. David Wayne's all-star tribute to everyone's favorite commandments, The Ten. The low-budget horror thriller, Termite. The highly regarded indie psychological thriller, They Look Like People. Anna Nicole Smith in the action thriller, To the Limit. The indie horror thriller, Unhinged. The music documentary, Prince, Up Close and Personal. The straight-to-video knockoff, U.S. Seals, starring Jim Fitzpatrick, fresh from his triumph in Operation Delta Force 3. The Australian World War I drama, William Kelly's War, and finally, our favorite title of today, the horror thriller, Vampiriah. 